2021-905. All those meeting to order. First item on the agenda, the review of the minutes of May 17th. Accept the May 17th minutes of the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Motion Aye. passes. Let's build the communications to get a good warrant of May 2023. Accept the bills and give the warrant. Second. All in favor? Motion passed. Director's report. We can start off with um, vacancies. Uh, Mike, how many apartments are open right now? I know we've had almost 10 we've gone through. So we have two, two. open. Yes. And yep. then one. Oh, well, actually, three. Yeah. Uh, one's one, done, two will be working. Perfect. So um, one's gone downstairs. We've just rented two um, within the last two weeks. So we have three, and then we have a couple more going downstairs, and then we'll have the upstairs one. So probably hopefully within the next, we think, two months we should be all set? Three months? Well, no, because people are moving from upstairs to downstairs. <laughs> so yeah, with what's here, yeah, the next month, should both of them should be done, and then when the people stop moving, that's going to open up again so yeah. so hopefully by September we'll have everything yes yeah, so we still have a list of um uh, I think three that are from upstairs that need to come downstairs so. okay. and board certified classes I did get an email last night I'm going to send it forward to each member about classes um they're really pushing board members to take classes in us now I guess apparently we have to have CEUs um so many per class so for the emails I did receive last night, um, I did notice it this morning. I will forward it to the people that their names are on it um, from um, Mass Narrow and Housing for the new name. So if you get an email from me, it's definitely because you have to take some classes. Also, DHCD changed their name. It's no longer DHCD. It's now EOHLC which is Executive Office of Housing and Livable Communities. Um, we just showed up to work one day and got an email. We had no notice that they were going to change the name. Uh, everybody's kind of just working normally. Uh, I'm not sure what changes will bring. I did put that in your folder. Uh, they changed the name. Um, they still have, um, they have some new, um, new secretary. And they, they're saying that all their existing contracts with the Department of Housing will remain fully valid uh, once the trans transition um, to EOHLC is made. This is all we know right now. We're kind of just working um, as a DHCD, but slowly all of our paperwork is changing um, from the DHCD to the EOHLC. So I have no idea what that's going to bring. I know they did team up with a couple of different agencies. Um, so I guess within the next the month livable, or year. What's the livable community? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what's, you know, what that's going to bring. Housing authorities, um, I am not sure. Uh, um, so, and, um, <sighs> that's what I have for that. Um, I do, it's going to be a quick meeting today because we don't have much. Um, I do need a board vote for the payment for the appropriation for Bristol County Retirement. Usually in the past it's been like 23, 24,000. This year it's 29,579. We can either pay it all at once or we can pay two payments of $15,052.
Usually in the low 20s, we do pay that. Um, I, I think it's an extra $500 to pay it in half. But I think with such a large payment, I'm, I'm going to ask the board if we can break it up. That way, um, if something does happen, we still have extra money in the checkbook to fall back on. So, um, so if we pay it in a semi-annual, it'd be $15,052 um, semi-annually. So um, the first one is for July 31st, and then it'll bill us for the second half. But I think it's in our best interest not to pay it all once this time, because it's just such a big payment coming out of our book. Good idea. Yeah, so I'm just asking for a vote. Well, I have a question. Yeah. Will, will it we get penalized if we don't? Like no, so it, it's it's five hundred dollars, five hundred and twenty-five dollars more. But it breaks I, I know what like that's just such a big hit for a one time payment. I know. But it, you know, we are, we do have the Swansea money though, so that kind of offsets we are getting I think we already have over thirty thousand dollars in that bank account, but I mean, it is nice to just break this apart. I mean, to be wiping it out. Not wiping it out, but yeah. I mean, if something big happens or pretty low, yeah, to bring it low. Well, what do you mean? I make a motion, as Jerome saying, to accept two payments. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes. And um, some of the tenants have purchased these flags. Um, if you notice on the building, they look really nice. They're five dollars a piece, and they're pretty. They're pretty um, sturdy. Uh, I, we had some tenants ask if we could bring to the board to purchase a flag for each building. So there's nine buildings. So it'd be nine times five dollars. We can get them at Ocean State Job Lot. Uh, we do have our tax um, credit, um, our tax cards. So we don't have to pay cash for it. Looks like there's no cash on it anyway. So they get each each um building has a flag post holder, so each building will have an American flag on. That way they all kind of just look the same. I'll make, I'll make a motion for that. Second. Okay. Second. Second. All the paper? Okay. I do um have some of the old business. I just want to talk about it. We don't need to vote on it yet. Um and I was kind of just up on this whole utility thing. Um, honestly, it's 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 probably driving me crazy. I can't sleep the night over these thoughts of everything that's going on. So so we are one of like 80 some housing authorities in Massachusetts that when they built it, they built um, they put the meter right in the front of the property. So once they put a gas meter in front of the property, um, the gas company will go up to the meter, and we're responsible for all the gas pipes in the ground. So because this place was built in the 70s, they want, um, we, have, we basically have three options and it's, it, it falls on, I guess, the director and the board, which I've tried to fight on DHCD and said, you know, they should have hired somebody to take care of this because, I mean, it's a lot of work for us to write all these contingency reports on top of the fact that it's a lot of liability to make this decision for something that none of us had control of, over. So basically in the decision, they've given us three options. One option being to get the gas company to come out and give us a price to change all the gas pipes, and then they will take responsibility of all the gas. So in order to do that, it, we got a price of $283,000, which to be honest with you, we're placing 16 dollars in Swansea for 385. So I thought that that was a pretty good price. So I called Department of Housing and you know, so to see if there's funding for having that done. And of course, the state is not funding that project because eventually, by 20 whatever, 2030 something, the state wants to switch over to all electric. So they will not fund that project. So um, the second choice would be to, and I guess the way it works, and the way it was explained to me is, if you have each unit is heated or has a stove separately, they will cover the heater and the stove. So, so each apartment does have a gas stove, so they will pay for us to change from gas to an electric stove, and they will pay for the stoves. But because our bro boilers, which are on, it's an on-demand furnace, so it's not the two hot separate. Waters, the hot water is, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's one thing that yeah. does both the, the, the water, hot water and the heat. Um, they will not fund that, uh, to change that over to electric, because that one unit runs eight different apartments. So, I mean, I kind of was a lot of smart ass and said, um, well, what if we take the stove and put it in the hallway? Will we be fine? Yes, we would. But, so, 
oh, it's cool. so, so kind of group this option together. They will pay to change the stoves over, but they won't pay to change the furnaces over. It will, the, it will um, the Department of Utilities will be fine with that, and we won't have to inspect the pipes, but we're taking responsibility if anything happens, then it falls on us. We're taking responsibility saying we don't inspect the pipes, which is a big cost to every year to us. So basically, those are our only two options, because the third option would be to change over to all electric, but we can't afford that either because we don't have all the money to do that. And it's going to um, be done anyway in the future. And it's going to be done in the future. But the thing is, is we can, we're doing a report to see how much electric this place can handle because I mean, you would, might know better. I don't think we have enough voltage to take on all the electricity that this place needs. So uh, it's right now we're, it's in the process of, we have an engineer coming out and looking at it. I don't know how much it's been done. Well, we got a month of extension to make a contingency plan. We sent this to DHCD three years ago. And now they've given us three months to get all this done. So, I mean, because the Department of Utilities, if we don't, we, we ask for an extension with them. And it's not DHCD, it's the Department of Utilities through the whole country that's making all these places do this. Um, and I mean, I myself don't understand it. They're saying that doing switching over to all electric will be savings in the future. I know we're half gas and half electric, and on a full month we paid eight thousand dollars. Whereas Swansea, with all electric, had a fifteen thousand dollar electric bill because they heat, they do everything with electric over there. So I don't know where the cost savings would come from. I'm not into the whole utility thing, but it's going to be a big cost to do this. Um, we will take the money if they're going to change over the stoves. We have no choice. Um, but we're still going to have to have these pipes electrified. Um, it might cost less. To do that, that's yeah, a big project. Well, you have to go. Well, we can do solar too, but the problem is, is we still we still have to bring in the engineer to see at what point is this going to cost us because it, eventually we have to switch over to electric. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that the first time we do this, it's going to support all the electric. But I'm not sure how much the Department of Housing will fund out of that because we still have furnaces that they won't cover because that one furnace heats eight units and not each additional unit. If each unit had its own furnace, they would cover that. But because one, one heater does eight, they won't cover it. There's no funding for that. Hmm. So it's been very it's frustrating. Not much cost, but energy costs, and yeah, I mean, we definitely can look at the solar, but this, I mean, the time of utilities won't find us as long as we have a, a, a contingency plan in place. Um, they gave us 30 extra days, and we are working with RCAP to put one in place. So um, I'm not sure where that's going to go, or you know, we need to get an engineer. But as long as we have a plan, they're happy with the fact that we really are working on changing it um, over. How many gas stoves do we have now? Uh, maybe three. Low 50s, I think, is we, we replaced the few because people come in with oxygen, so we have to replace them. But it's not just putting an electric stove in, we have to replace the fuse panel and everything because there's no outlet there and there's not enough room in these fuse panels, and plus they're obsolete anyway. Well, that's in another thing. Right. The yeah. opera money. We just got, op right. got $300,000 in opera money to change <coughs> over all these fuse boxes. Fuse panels, yeah. So now the panic comes, are we going <laughs> to do this and then... Is it going to hold the electric? And if not, why are we going to spend it and then have to redo it again? So it's it's just it's just been a whirlwind. And, and with that, they were size they size to the ones we put in. They're going to put the same that we have put in. They're going to put the same ones in. But with that project, they won't run a wire or they won't to to hook up a wood stove. That's going to be a separate. The state won't fund that in part of that project. 
either. No. So, so yeah. that's. And they won't even put a wire in there. Well, no, because the they will fund the project if we switch over. Oh, that that way, uh, yeah, yeah. But and we just asked them if we could do that. So we're we're up in the air because we just feel like a lot of people don't realize that we we have this op we have no choice and this is an option. So we did pull in RCAP. We're working with RCAP. Um, honestly, RCAP was. They, they were surprised over the fact that they will pay for the gas stoves, but they won't pay for the furnaces. Mm -hmm. um, they thought everything had to, so now our cat is working with um, this gentleman that's working with housing to say, no, like we won't give you money for that, where the, you know, we thought there was money for that. So, I mean, it's a good price just for the furnaces. They won't pay for the furnaces or the boilers, they're just, just the stoves and, and what it takes to get the stoves over. Mm -hmm. Nope, we just, well, we know for a fact um, when we do it, it's about $800 per unit for the electrician. Yes. Right? And yeah. then the stove is about $600. 600. Yeah. But, I mean, that, that's, that would be no problem, but we don't think, we, the, we don't think these electric boxes can support all that. Right, the transformer out here. If we would have known, I guess, that's a few years. Just did a couple years. The one, yeah, if we would have known this was coming down the pipe, obviously, we would have told them, like, you know, size it up to go all electric, you know, everything. But that wasn't even in the plans or thought of at the time. But now it's so getting a little crazy. To do it. Not to mention, we just did the roadway. So yeah. if, even if we paid for the gas, have the whole road up. It's like, it's, it's just a waste. So There's no planning from up top to tell <laughs> them, you know, where, you know, we, we have to wing it. And plus, she said three years, that they, you know, three years it started getting ramped up. I think when I first started, like somewhere around 2014, 15, they actually came here and they told us, you know, this was going on, but it was going through the legislature. And then nothing happened until like three years ago and now all of a sudden it's a panic, you know. And what the Department of Utilities, they, they are saying they want they don't want to work with the Department of Housing as a whole. They want to work with each housing authority separately. So, but like I said, there's funding if you want to go all electric, but to a certain point. No, wood stoves. So. Wood stoves? There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pellet stoves, yeah. But it won't like that. When you laughed, he said it would make sense to put one stove in each hallway, which is just a joke. We wouldn't do that. But, I mean, just none of it makes sense. So. And I, I'm not sure if that's because they want to go to each. Um, I know some of the housing authorities have switched over. What are those heaters? They do heat and AC? Uh, yeah. yeah, but the ones that they put in originally, they have to be cleaned so many times a year. So all these housing authorities did that, and now the contracts for cleaning them, it's, you know, it should be cleaned once a year. Yeah, it's very expensive. I have one like so, that. I get them twice a year because it's so expensive. Yeah, it's probably. I clean shoes, but yeah, the time's up. Yeah, thousand units. Yeah. But anyway, so this is um what we we've been working on in the last week and a half. Um, it's been a little stressful, but I, mean, I don't know. But we're gonna have to come up with money to do it because I mean we can't. This housing authority can't support a two three hundred thousand dollar project. Doing it, oh, okay, but about what it's going to cost for electric heat and everything, it's, yeah. un, it's unaffordable. Well, the state seems to think that but it it's will, clean. Will, in, in the, <laughs> it will become more affordable in the future. So. And I know the tenants are going to be upset. A lot of people like to come with gas, but it's not, it's not our choice. We have no choice. I mean, we do have a choice if we had $300,000. But, I mean, we could spend the 300000 if we had it, but in six years they might turn around and say, you know what, yeah, we're not doing this. Or if something big breaks, they're not going to support giving us money for a furnace or something else because they're going to want it to be electric anyway. So that would be a waste of money. So they're giving us three choices, but basically... Do it my way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do a change in the departments of all electric, but changing the heating system to electric. Did, did they question the boiler we replaced? Yes. Why so we did In our plan. capital plan, yeah. we always put a boiler in our capital plan just in case one goes every year we have the money. And we did get a letter saying that they're not going to, you know, they, that they don't want us to um, 
put enough gas uh, furnace in you know, the, the, the capital plan because of us switching over eventually to electric. So either way, you know, we kind of got to read the writing between the walls and spend the money the best way we can because we need the funding. School electric doesn't pay for it. You just don't know if it can be supported. Yes, it's, and that's a big problem. That Mike said it definitely can't. What's that? We don't have enough electric to support everything they want us to do, correct? I don't think so. I think the stoves would be okay because not everybody's going to be cooking in their oven at the same time. If everybody cooked in their oven at the same time, it could be questionable. I think it would support the stoves, you know, using, you know, one here, one there. But um, it's, yes. it, you know, it was just like no plan for the future up above and you know we had to do we had to do that in an emergency because the thing was rotten and dangerous so so that's the we're going to go but we're still going to have to um look into how much um if we have enough as the furnaces blow we're going to have to change them to electric and in the meantime if we do have any gas coming into the property it's in our best interest um, to have it inspected right now there's no choice we have to have it inspected because of the gas stoves once the gas stoves are in we don't have it, um, have to have it inspected, but it's in our best interest to have it for the safety um, because of the pipes being so old. Until it's, it's all, until we're not using gas anymore, then we don't have to have it inspected anymore. So I'm just bringing that up as old business. I know I brought it up in the past, but this is um, it's real. something that's, yeah, <laughs> something that's going to be, you know, you can just upgrade the panel and go with it. It's not just the piano in, in each building, it's that, that the transformer. The transformer. Out there, right? yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what they would they add in the building. I have no idea if they would have to either increase the size of it. Do so they have to increase the wires coming in too, or is that? I'm not sure on that part. Yeah. I, like, I don't know. Who knows? It's three phase, so I don't know if they would have to. Yeah. You know, it's good to what you need to follow. Well, we, we did put money in our, um, in our capital plan to pay for an engineer. So that was one okay, good thing. Thank you, should do. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's what we're working on right now. Yeah. And that's all I have. I don't think they're thinking too much about it. Nobody's thinking. Anyway, is uh, that it? That's it. But I have a motion to accept it. Motion to accept. Motion to accept. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Just uh, nothing on old business, huh? Or that was, that was old business, yeah. Business. <laughs> Made this report. Well, like one said, it's been apartment after apartment, and it's not going to start. Um, just routine maintenance, nothing major has been happening here. And at Garfield Street, I guess everything was okay with the inspection, and I got to get out there and start measuring windows to get that project going and place some windows there. But otherwise, that everything seems to be pretty good. We had the uh, inmates, what did they do? Did they paint them? Yeah, they helped paint an apartment. I yeah. had one up there, yeah, they, they went and painted it, cleaned it, you know, tore out some floors that I needed to torn out and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, that's good. So. That's it? That's it. I have a motion to approve the maintenance report, please. Motion to approve the maintenance report. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. We have a tenant here. All set. All set. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Okay, goes to the next Am meeting. Am I happy, Tana? So, yeah, happy? Okay. Uh, um, for the our next meeting is July 19th. Um, I know in Swansea they, they don't do July meetings. They take, well, actually they take July and August off. I don't know if you want to just say um, to not have a meeting, because we don't really have that much. The only thing that I would have if um, anything comes up is the electrical project. And if I have to have a meeting, I can notify you guys on the electrical project. That would be the only thing that would come up in July. We have no construction going on or anything right now. That's a holiday. That's July 19th? Yeah, Islamic New Year. Oh, okay. So anyway, so um, yes, so we might just want to, um, Go for August the third. The third Wednesday in August will notify. Do you have the, the date of the third Wednesday in August? It'll be August sixteenth. Sixteenth. Okay.
any other business? If not, uh, we have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. All in favor? We are now adjourned.